Panginoon bago kong maging ganap na pari nais ko munang humingi ng kapatawaran lalong lalo na kay Samantha mahal ko sa pero hindi ko mahindian at baliwalain ang pagtawag mo kung talagang pinatawag ka niya magpaparaya ako Baunin mo to. Para kahit paminsan-minsan, naisip ko ito. Pagkasal mo na rin ako. I love you. Goodbye. Sinundan ko ang iyong tawag at napagdesisyonan kong pumasok ng seminaryo. Hindi ko man lubos maintindihan ng una, ginabayan naman ako ng Espiritu Santo. At sa aking pagpasok, Tinagap niyo ko bilang isang tunay na anak Panginoon. Sa loob ng seminaryo, hindi lamang sa pag-aaral ako natuto. Natutunan ko din makasalamuha at makipagkaibigan. Kasama sila sa mga masasayang alaala ko bilang isang seminarista. Pagtutong si Kalima at ikaanim na taon sa seminaryo, patuloy pa rin ang mainit na pagtanggap niyo sa akin sa Divine World Seminary. Lalong lumalim ang pagkilala ko sa inyo, Panginoon. Naging mas malapit ako sa mga bagay na inyong nilikha dito sa digdig kung saan ikaw ang naghahari. Kaya bago ko maging isang ganap na tagapaglingkod ng Panginoon, tanggapin mo nawa itong taos pusong pasalamat ko sa iyo. Ito ang aking samot na langin. Amen. Ngayong isa na akong ganap na pari, hayaan mong ipagpatuloy ko kasama ng aking mga estudyante ang kalooban mong lumikha sa tulong ng iyong lakas at biyaya ng isang daigdig kung saan nagahari ka sa bawat puso. Isang daigdig na may kapayapaan at katarungan at pagkalinga sa kalikasan. May magpapatuloy pa kaya sa aking ginagawa, Panginoon?
we all kneel for the prayer to Jesus, the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning you already were. Before even time began, you are Son, and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself, through God the Holy Spirit and Mary. You became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May your love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer we come face to face with you like you with the Father and the Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray for the following intentions of this Mass, as shown on the screen.
Welcome to our Eucharistic celebration, brothers and sisters, who join us in worship here at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary. Today is Tuesday of the 27th day of April, in the fourth week of Easter. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Benigno Beltran SVD, Associate Priest of the Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. We all rise. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are one in being with the Father, Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the Son of Man who will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead at the end of time. Christ of mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord of mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that celebrating the mysteries of the Lord's resurrection, we may marry to receive the joy of our redemption to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some Cypriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit in faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year, they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All you nations, praise the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. 
His foundation upon the holy mountains the Lord loves. The gates of Zion, more than any dwelling of Jacob, glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt and Babylon, among those who know the Lord, of Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia. This man was born here, and of Zion they shall say, One and all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled, This man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance, My home is within you. All you nations praise the Lord. We all rise to honor the Holy Gospel. <laughs> Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter. And Jesus walked about in the temple area and the portico of Salma. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you, you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me. But you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them. They follow me. I give them eternal life. They shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. I, the Father, and I are one. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, they follow me. We do not know much about sheep, but let me tell you today about bummer lamps. B U W M E R, bummer lamps. In countries where there's a lot of sheep, they tell the story of bummer lamps. Once in a while, do you, the mother, mother sheep, rejects the lamb? She has given birth, does not feed it, kicks it away. They do not know why. So the farmer, knowing this, will take the bummer lamb home. Kuha ng baby bottle, feed the lamb brings it near the fire when it is cold. Sometimes hugs the lamb close to his breast so that the lamb can feel the beating of his heart. The lamb stays in the shepherd's home for several weeks until it can survive on its own. When the shepherd calls the sheep, Hulaan niya kung sinong maunang lalapit. 
yung bummer land. Yung rejected, kinupkup nung pastol, siya yung intimate relationship with the shepherd. Siya yung unang nakakilala sa tinig ng pastor. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. So ang nakakarinig sa tinig ng mabuting pastol ay yung nakaranas ng kaniyang pagkalinga. Sinasabi ng mga born again yan eh. Kailangan may personal, intimate relationship ka with Jesus as Savior. Nakakatakot kayo kasi tayong mga katoliko sa Pilipinas dahil baby pa lang tayo. Dinadala na tayo ng ating mga lula at tiya sa simbahan. Tinuturo ang mag-aantanda, hindi pa nakakapagsalita. Pagkatapos ang unang natututunan ay ama namin at iba pang mga dasalin. Na parang we will consider God as very familiar. Parang isang sofa na luma na, andon sa isang sulok. Alam mo na andyan, pero hindi mo na masyadong napapansin. Kaya hilingin natin sa Panginoon ngayon. Nabaranasan natin itong kanyang pagkalinga. I once was lost, now I'm found. Was blind, and now I see. Kaka ka lang, lalim ng commitment mo sa kanya. Sa so June 23, I'll be 48 years a priest. Sana abot ng 50, pero kahit aabot ng 60, 70, I will still serve him. Kasi tinakpan ako ng kadiliman na hindi malirip ng isipan nung nag-aaral ako sa UST. Wala akong ibang mapuntahan. Ang naalaala ko, nasa dorm, wala, hindi naman alam ng mga kasama ko doon. Pero dispirit na ako. Parang nilalamon ako ng kumunoy. Mas biglang may cross. Niyakap ko. Sabi ko, tanggalin mo lang itong kadiliman. Maraming millennials at mga teenagers na ganyan ang nararanasan ngayon. Noon ako lang ata eh. Weird talaga ako eh. Ako lang mag-isa noon. Nagde-depression. Hindi ko mahanap ang katanungan sa integral at differential calculus na pinag-aaralan namin sa UST Engineering. Tapos biglang, samatalang nilalamon ako ng kumunoy, sa aking isip lang naman yon biglang may cross. Tapos sabi ko, tanggalin mo lang itong kadiliman. Paglilingkuran kita. Tinangga. Kaya kung may mga temptation, Takutin ko lang sarili ko na iwanan mo si Kristo, babalik yung kadiliman. Tuloy na naman akong maglilingkod sa Kanya. Bummer lam ako eh. Dami ko pang kasalanan na pinatawad niya. To whom much is forgiven, she has loved much because much was forgiven of her. Yung babae na nagpunas ng pabango sa paa ni Jesus. Yan yung mga bummer lam. Sila yung mas matindi ang paglilingkod sa Panginoon dahil nakarana sila noong I once was lost and now I'm found, was blind and now I see. O ulitin ko, nakakatakot sa mga katolikong Pilipino na magiging kasama na ng nakaugalian mo sa kapaligiran mo yung Diyos. Simba-simba ka, kung may problema ka, Dasal-dasal ka sa kanya. Prosesyon ka doon sa Santo Nino. Pero, hindi mo siya naranasan sa kaliit-liitang himay-may ng iyong pagkatao. Hindi ka bummer lang. Kaya, hindi mo masyadong naririnig yung kanyang tinig. 
Kandaling pagsusubok lang, sasabihin, nawawala na ako ng tiwala sa Diyos, may hiniling ako, hindi binigay. Santa Claus ba ang Panginoon? Paano yung Panginoon na gumawa ng pamalo, panghagupit, tinadyakan yung mga mesa ng papalit ng pera doon sa loob ng templo? Siya din yan. Nararanasan mo yan. Sangkalan mo lang ba ang Panginoon kung may problema ka? Umahal mo siya, kaya kung anong sasabihin niya, naririnig mo, tinutupad mo, sa kabila ng lahat ng pagsubok at kahirapan. Yung blessed are the poor in spirit, for they shall see God, may bagong kahulugan yan eh, kasi binalik nila doon sa Aramaic, Greek na kasi yan eh, sa New Testament, binalik nila sa Aramaic, yan yung dialect ni Jesus, tapos, gi- Sinalin uli. Alam niyo ang ibig sabihin? Blessed are the poor in spirit, for they shall see God. Sa Aramaic, ganito ang ibig sabihin. Blessed are those who realize that they need God. Malaking grace yan. My Father, who was given to, to, to me, is greater than all. Galing sa Diyos ang grace to know Him intimately. And we always take for granted na kilala na natin yan. Tumanda na ako pagiging katoliko. Yung iba sa atin, sarado katoliko, pati Espiritu Santo hindi na makapasok, saradong sarado. Kaya walang bagong naririnig mula sa Panginoon. Yung hamon ng ating pananampalataya, hindi na pinapakinggan. Pagawaan ng chapel, nagnanakaw naman ng pera na iba. Babawas ng kasalanan, Minsan, nangungumpisal pa ng future scenes daw eh, sabi ng mga seminarista. Blessed are those who realize that they need God. Bomber lambs realize they need God. Kasi napasadlak sila sa kadiliman na walang katapusan. Dami silang kasalanan na pinatawan. My sheep hear my voice. I know them, they follow me. He who follows me walks not in darkness, sabi ng Panginoon. At itong Panginoon na ito, hindi basta-bastang shepherd. The Father and I are one. Kaisa siya sa creative designer, yung makapangyarihang nila lang na nagsimulaan itong Big Bang na andyan lahat ng mga galaxies, planets. Kaisa si Jesus sa Kanya. At pinaliwanag ni Jesus na siya father. Hindi computer yan, hindi simulation yan, hindi yan 3D ang universe na ginawa niya. At ang gumawa niyan, person. Minamahal tayo. God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. Let us pray during this Mass that we will experience that love to the innermost chambers of our hearts. So that when He speaks, we will know Him. My sheep hear my voice. I know them. They follow me. Prayers of the faith. My sisters and brothers, God gives eternal life to the sheep of His flock. Let's pray to the Father, confident that we can never be taken away from His care and that we will experience more intimately the love He has for us. Let our response be, Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock. That the Pope and the bishops may become true shepherds by leading their flock to good pastures. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock, that those who wandered away from the path of righteousness may be led back to the fold. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock, that the youth may hear the voice of Good Shepherd 
calling them to serve God's family in a special way. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock. That the sick may experience the tenderness of the Good Shepherd through the loving care of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock. That Christ, the Good Shepherd, may lead the dead safely home. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, keep us among your flock. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers. Bless each one of us in the way you know best. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Sisters and brothers, my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, the universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim.
found to all holy name. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broken, gave to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of eternal salvation, giving thanks that you have beheld us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, Onesto of Bishop, and all the members of your one holy, Catholic, apostolic church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, health of the sick, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> Let us pray with confidence to our Father in heaven, in the words Jesus, one with him, taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously, grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Good Shepherd, who shows us the great love the Father has for his sheep. Happy are those who accept this invitation to eat at his table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. <clears throat> My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring us your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in the country and the world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calongsod, Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Renademetz. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Thanks be to God.
Thank you.